Okay, my name is Dana Church and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about white pumpkin carving. Yes, white pumpkins do exist in nature. Um, sometimes they are hard to find, so uh, there's a couple things you can do. And sometimes people want white pumpkins for different reasons. They're, they're interesting and they're pretty, um, but even sometimes brides might want them later into the fall season for their, their wedding and they, you won't be able to find them, then it would be really hard and probably more expensive. So what you can do is take a pumpkin and actually paint the pumpkin with acrylic paint. Uh, you go from the orange to the white. It's, it's actually fairly easy. You just take your pumpkin and actually wash it really good with soap and water, just you know, mild soap, and dry it really good because you want the surface to be easier for the paint to adhere to. And then you're going to use just, just acrylic paint. You can buy in Walmart, really, or any place like that. But I just happen to have a thicker body paint, which means it's just really thick when you put it on and it might be a little more expensive but you know if you're really using this for something important you might want to invest in that so just a local art store or sometimes just your everyday stores around here super stores um, so then you're gonna I'm not gonna go into the whole process of it but you just take your pumpkin obviously dip your brush in sometimes you can use a sponge brush because it's softer and it works good you just have to figure out what works better for you I like this brush a lot it works well but the sponge brush will probably work too so obviously, you know, you dip it in and then you just apply it. You're probably going to have to do two coats, go around it, let that dry, and then do one more coat. And after it dries, you can just do whatever you want with it. You can put it into a display or um, sit it out with other pumpkins with different colors. And that's it. Pumpkin paint, white pumpkin painting.